Hey guys, Firebet here, bringing you more Slay the Spire content. I've gotten a little bit more familiar with the game. Now we are at Ascension 10. There are 20 levels of Ascension, each Ascension getting slightly more difficult, so things are going to be a little bit more challenging to be able to defeat the heart and get the wins. But I still don't want to take that away from the fun, so I always try and build around wacky and weird cards and try and make decks that uh, maybe utilize things you've never seen before. So this deck is an Ironclad deck, which is a class I haven't uploaded a YouTube video yet for. But uh, we try and build around the card Enlightenment, which is a little bit of a wacky card, and it's a little bumpy getting off the ground, and things are a little weird, but uh, it kind of works out, so here's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It was a fun deck to build, a fun deck to play. I don't know. I, I didn't... That was my only damage card early. I needed some damage card before the boss. But Clash is always just noob bait, dude. It never ends up working. I've had one time where Clash worked really well, but uh, that's it. When it works really well, it's super fun, but it's so hard to get it to work. You need a med kit usually, especially for like floor three when they start adding stuff to your deck all the time. Colorless card, random common relic, take 21 damage, get a rare relic, lose your starting relic, obtain a boss relic. I might just take the colorless card. Colorless cards are pretty good for this class. There's usually like a lot of exhausting and stuff like that. I think I'll try that. Ooh. I like Pen uh, Pendacea. I like this card with this class. Because there's like things that give you, they debuff you and give you like vulnerable and stuff like that. And then this can remove that. So it allows you to get the um, rampage out really easily. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to one this turn. This could be good with a bunch of two mana cards. We already start with one two mana card. This is a draw two when you upgrade it, that's nice. This reduces them to one this combat when you upgrade it. So you get a bunch of two mana cards and then make them all cost one. Which is pretty fun. And then this makes it so I can remove debuffs, so I can play like the Rampage power. Yeah, this is really bad versus the sentries, huh? I think I'm, I'm gonna try and do... I'm gonna try and do big cost card enlightenment deck. So we're taking the highest mana cost thing. Let's get some bludgeons, some three mana big hammers. Let's do it. Okay, let's head up this way. And we might diverge over that way if we don't get anything good on the pathway up to it. Legend is, uh, Enlightenment is so fun when you make it work, but you rarely make it work. Perfect. That's my favorite kind of things. I don't like things that work all the time. I like things that are really cool, but usually don't work. That's my favorite kind of thing. Oh, man. None of these cost tons of manas. Do I just skip? Drug it off is too good to skip, right? I think I, if we're going truly leaning into the big mana thing, we would skip. I'm going to try and lean harder into the big mana. Ooh, removing a deck, that's good. The wing statue. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there is more inside? Someone once told you of a cult that worshipped a giant bird. As you kneel in prayer, you begin to feel lightheaded. You wake up some time later feeling strangely fleet of foot. Thank you, bird cult. I get this defend out of here. Oh my gosh. We can remove another card. We find the living wall. As you come to a dead end and begin to turn around, walls slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. Three faces materialize from the walls and speak. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I require a change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. All right, let's forget. I, I, I saw this creepy living wall and I just want to forget that it exists. Spoopy. Let's block. Screw defense. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wish I had more defense for this turn. I'm gonna kill this guy. The heal for eight. We have 18, he has 19. Wonderful. Wonderful. We have a really thin deck though, so that's kinda nice. Warcry is some card draw, feel no pain, exhausting cards, pretty good. Where are the big mana cards? I want to take Thunderclap probably. I don't, we actually we should be bashing pretty consistently, so we should be able to play vulnerable very easily. Probably just take Warcry. 
doesn't cost me a card really. Once you upgrade it, it doesn't cost you a card. It still costs you a card when it's on upgrade because it draws one and puts one back. So it actually just cycles through the deck faster. We can help me hit enlightenment combos and set them up, right? We want Warcry to help set up our enlightenment combos going forward. I feel terrified of this elite fight. We haven't gotten really anything that's helped us out here yet. Sick. Have I made a perfect strike deck yet? I'd like Ascension 1, I did perfect strike. I don't know. Perfect strike seems pretty shady as a skill in general. I don't think I've used it since Ascension 1. I only have two blocks in my deck. I'm guaranteed to draw one block next turn, but I should be drawing three strikes next turn, which should each be hitting for nine, so it should be 27. So unless he blocks for like an absolute monstrous amount, he should have fine. Another war cry? I don't know if I want another war cry. I haven't gotten anything to work with my enlightenment shenanigans yet. But zero mana cycle is pretty nice. I'll take it. Uh, but I am going to skip these elites because they will murder us. So I guess we're going to do the non-super elites over here. And they're probably still going to murder us. But at least we can upgrade... I don't know, upgrade Bash? Probably still work, right? That we got to upgrade. My deck is so terrible. <laughs> and we got to upgrade this eventually if I'm actually truly going to build around it. Making Bash cost one for the whole fight is kind of good. All right. Oh my god, worst possible ones for me to encounter, too. <laughs> I started. We're dead. I got no big cards for my big card deck. Do we want to play two defends or two strikes? Two strikes doesn't kill him, so we want to play two defends. Ow. That's not good. My deck is getting polluted too. As long as you take out one, it's not that hard of a fight. We got the one out. Trying to build around enlightenment seems like a bad idea though. Enlightenment seems pretty friggin' trash. I mean, it could have been so good if we just hit some decent cards for it. I don't know about so good, but it could have been playable. Make days cost one. It's nice that Bash cost one. We're alive. We're barely alive. Happy Flower, that's a good one. A good round's not great. Where are the two mana cards? <laughs> what are you doing, game? <laughs> Stop trolling me. Give me a two mana card, gosh darn it. Upgrade two random cards, lose 16 HP, and die? That might honestly be the best play here. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in, and you reject them because you don't want to get sunburned. What could have been? First time you lose HP, each combat, you draw three cards. Not horrible. Kill this monster, then go shopping. We definitely need to go shopping. I don't know if I want to face another elite, though, so I gotta go this way. Okay. I, we might be able to plow through an elite after the shop. I think we should take this path. 
After the shop, we could probably beat Melee. Let's rest here. Beat up this regular monster. Go shopping. Either rest or upgrade. We want to put this on top of my deck so that we can hit the bash next turn more often. Get that reduced for the whole fight. There's the bash. I want to play both of these strikes, so this, whatever I get, I'd put back on top of my deck, so there's no reason to play it. There's no reason not to play it either. Sick. I don't want to draw it again anymore, this fight. Its purpose is just to help me line up the, uh, the discount on this. We already got the discount on that, so we're good. Some max HP going on. Doesn't cost two still, but it does ten for one, which is pretty good compared to my other cards on it. Other cards are six for one. We take it. Alright, big money to spend here. And not the best shop in the world. Another feed? Damn max HP gain. We could make Hand of Greed cost one in a card. We can also take this. We get two strength in their elite fight coming up. That's not bad. Ah. Or the, the elite enemies have 25% less HP. That's not bad either. I think we probably want to make elites easier. But I think it's this. I don't think I want a second feed. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick though. You guys window shop for a second. One mana deal 20 and gain 20 gold is also super spicy. End of grid plus 25. Get it to one mana deal 25. It's the most thematic with my deck for sure. All right, let's lean into enlightenment. Even though we don't get any relics this way. And we don't even remove a card. We get a dexterity potion. Let's take the dexterity potion for the boss. The boss is going to be rough. Or we might actually use it here. What does this upgrade look like? Ooh. Getting this to 25, this is probably what I want to be doing. Alright, let's get him. Okay, we can wait until we get enlightenment around with our carts before we wake him. Turn one. And we want to be one of these. Uh, I want to bash this turn. And then next turn hand of greed him. I want to put this. I want to still draw this next turn, huh? Bash into hand of greed. Might use man the next turn or something going harder. There's bash pass. And then wait. We want this still so that we can try and use it to make the connection with the discount. Okay. Oh, nice, we hit the Enlightenment. Then for the rest of the fight, this is only going to cost one, which is nice. One mana deal, 37. Next turn, we can bash and then hit him with feed. This might be a good time to use Dex and get 14. We're gonna draw three cards next turn. Okay. 25, 35. Unfortunately, we didn't draw Enlightenment to get the Bash discounted. We could still maybe kill him with the Energy Potion this turn. 
So if we bash him and then hit him for 37, so what's 8 plus 37? Yeah, then we feed. Feed. Could have went for the money instead, I guess. But I think, uh, I think we probably want the max HP. <laughs> Immediate payoff of our investment sounds good because of how weak our deck is. Ooh, three damage, nice. Big strength. Double your block, exhaust all non-attack cards, get five block, intimidate, apply one weak, and exhaust. Entrench, exhaust one. Only attacks, right? Oh, that's cards. One minute entrench. Great. The life coach raid? How's it going from life coach's stream? What's up, guys? Appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for the raid, life coach. I really appreciate that, dude. Big raids. I might just skip on this one. I'm trying to make a garbage enlightenment deck, so don't make fun of my deck too much, but I know enlightenment's not good, and I'm trying to fully build around it, fully aware that it's terrible, but I want to get some bludgeons and play some big cards. Could be fun. Bludgeon's got a sick animation. It doesn't get enough love, right? What's the boss? Is Intimidate good on this boss? Not really. I think I just skip. Intimidate's not a bad card, but we don't have any ways to synergize with Exhaust very well right now, so... Eh. Uh, I feel pretty confident, actually, about this boss fight. I think I can just smith here. I actually don't think this is going to be too bad for us. Just upgrade Bash. Or upgrade Warcry. So I can get through my deck faster and line things up. Yeah. I need to upgrade both these Warcrys at some point. Alright, Warcry. It's your time to shine. We have both two mana cards, so this would be the best time to top deck this Enlightenment. Enlighten me, Warcry. You suck, Warcry. Alright, so we want to put back the two mana card that we want to get discounted. So we put this one back so that we can discount this later. And this turn, we probably just bash feed. Not trying to... Well, we could have feed on some of the slimes later on, I guess. I, I want to get the damage in on him, because otherwise he's going to hit me with a big attack later. I know feed has exhaust. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't want to be continually drawing a card I'm refusing to play. Unlucky. So if we hit him with the Hand of Greed, he's going to take 37. He's going to get into split range. He's going to split a little early. We don't want to split him so soon. Do we? Oh, he can't split early? He did exactly 75. If we hit him again, he splits, right? Or is he splitting already? I thought you said he wasn't going to split if I hit him with it. And I hit him with it. Now he's going to split. What are you trying to do to me, Chad? I said, I'm not going to do it because he'll split. And then Chad's like, he won't split. And then I hit him and then he splits. Chad, why, why, you strike. I did strike. And then I asked, and then I said, uh, if I hit him with it, he's going to split. And then you're like, no, 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 Well, now he's going to split at 66. It's okay. It's good for our hourglass. We wanted this. This is perfect. It's easier to farm them with hand of greed if we can make them both split as many times as possible. That's what we think about boss fights. We go for the economy situation. Honestly, though, it's probably not too bad for us. We split this guy again, and now we can start hand of greeting his babies. Twenty-four. We're gonna die. His babies are angry. <laughs> we're trying all slimes next turn. Oh no! Three block because we're so frail. Oh no! If I strength potion, I can kill one. Or can I just kill one straight up? If I do this and then this, it'd be 8 plus 9, so it'd be 17. No, so I got strength potion. 
I strength potion, I could then kill one. Frick. It's rough, guys. It's rough. Berg. 18 coming at me from this chunky guy. Can I make him split? Do we want to make him split? <laughs> if we make him split, that could be bad news bears for us, honestly. I want to kill that guy with the Hand of Greed, right? So Hand of Greed is going to kill him next turn. So we just want to invest some damage in this guy. Do a little bit of armor gain. I don't even know if the armor gain is worth it. It might have been better just to exhaust something. It's going to take a long time for Hand of Greed to come back around. So I don't know if we want to actually invest too much damage into this guy. Because we don't want him to split just yet. So we just hit this guy, let him do his thing, and then next turn hopefully we can get him a little lower. We're just chilling. Because if we hit him, he splits. And we don't need this. Do we care? Yeah, we probably do. Let's try to get to a spot where we're not weakened first, at least. He added more frail to us, so now we're good. He's already splitting at the start of this because of the proc from my Mercury Hourglass. Alright, let's farm some gold! Next turn we get to get it and get some gold. Can't even kill a guy this turn. Um, so we're gonna do three at the start of my turn. So that guy dies, that guy goes to ten, we gain 25 more gold coins. Boom. We're rich! Our deck may be terrible, but we have lots of money. Perfect. <laughs> Immolate? One mana Immolate's kinda cool. Exhum my feedback. I think I'd take Immolate. Immolate does a lot of damage. 21 to all is a big number. I'm taking Immolate. Double feed sounds greedy. Transform all strikes and defends. I do like transforming things. In my hand. We just need high cost things. So let's transform all of that and get some high cost stuff, I think. I think it's Pandora's Mox. Two wounds. We don't have great ways to power three wounds. Double effectiveness of potions. Honestly, this is, the Sacred Bark is usually pretty good. But I'm always a sucker for Pandora's box. I like the chaos of it, you know? We can get Impervious down to one. Shockwave down to one. Barricade down to one. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey guys, uh, Firebed here. Today we got more Slay the Spire content. You guys actually watched it. I'm surprised, but... <laughs> Thank you, you guys, for, um, you know, supporting me in my endeavors here. Uh, even if it's not Hearthstone related, I really appreciate it. But this video is going to be all about the Watcher, who is all about stances and 